when I say that arms are going to be a priority, that means we're actually isolating them. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do a couple exercises for chest, a couple exercises for back, but they hit arms and other stuff too. But arms will continue to get isolation. Um, and, and that is something that we do need to discuss, you know, is that people are like, but your biceps have always kind of like, I'm like, but I've also gone long periods of time with no curls. And sometimes if I did curls, it was just hammer curls and so on. Uh, that's really the issue. It, that really and truly is the biggest issue. I have long arms. So it's harder to fill them out, and I really neglected them, right? Uh, so again, that's kind of come up if had someone say, "Well, you can't claim that you you know how to train your back, and then your back is big, and the, but you know you know how to train biceps." Like I do know how to train biceps. I think we demonstrated that with discussion, but knowing how and actually training them is two different stories. I did tons and tons of rows. Keep in mind, on most of my back development came from rows. Rows do work biceps less than pull-ups and chin-ups. That is documented in the lab. And then I would neglect curls. So of course, of course they're underdeveloped. Again, particularly old bicep injury uh, from over 20 years ago and lack of doing supine grip curls at all. Yeah, that's that absolutely explained it. And now we're correcting it. All right, the incline, um, because...